Hello and welcome to another tutorial. My name is uh, Yaziel and uh, today we going to work a little more on our inventory. Last time we made these uh, tooltips and today we want to drop the items to the ground. So we just uh, drag them and let them down to the ground and pick them up again. Also, we want to make sure if we let drop, for example, a stack of 12, it picks up a stack of 12 again. So that's what we want to work with. And uh, let's go to our game. First of all, we need an area where we can drop the item. And therefore, we're going to make in our canvas an UI image. And we just put it on top here on, uh, behind everything else. As you know, they are layered in uh, order here. So we, are want, we want to have an item which is way back uh, to the other stuff. So you just go and stretch it all over the place uh, in the whole canvas. And um, then you want to do the following here, set the alpha to all the way zero so it's not visible at all um, if you put it a little up you see the areas where we can drop an item so all the way down and then we you add an script i called it item to ground uh, drop to ground uh, just go uh, add component or just uh, as always just go here and say create new script and that's the script we want to work with. So let's hopefully there be there. Okay. Last time we uh, ended the uh, drop or the drag with the eyedrop handler, and that's uh, the same we want to do now. So we go into our item drop to ground script and it's just unity engine and unity engine event system because we need the item drop handler so it belongs to the namespace yazil item system again and um, it comes from mono behavior and as i said before it uh, depends or uh, wants to work with i drop handler so next is we want to have a public item database item database or item db that's where we find our items so it's the uh, global uh, database and then we want to have the private inventory manager im and in the start function we just uh, look for the inventory manager and grab that ob object so next is uh, when the drop is uh, happening we want to do something so we use the on drop function and in the on drop function we going for the inventory item inventory item is equal to new inventory item so we make just a plain inventory item then we go and say the inventory item database inventory item database item drag dot item in move so that's our static item which we just moving and we get the component i drag out of that and we just look into the inventory database so since we don't have that here in a moment we have to go into the inventory uh, into into the item drag and make a new variable uh, we got something else here with inventory um, we don't need that so we just uh, override that and go for public inventory item database item uh, inventory database and in our slot just down here somewhere we define i drag dot inventory database is equal to inventory database we got the inventory database in our slot so we when we produce the item we uh, store that into the idrec uh, um, script so back to there so since we got that now we know where the item comes from so we know the amount and stuff like that and we have the inventory uh, database out of the inventory 
Ähm, ups. So. Um, so, next is we look for the inventory item which we created here and set the item equal to the inventory item database dot item and we look for the item drag dot item in move so we have this item we have on our mouse again get component item drag dot slot id so we want to see uh, which slot it is and after that we go into the game object or we create a game object and instantiate uh, the item out of the item database dot item event data point drag get component item drag dot item id and there we want to have the model so let's go here and go for the item editor and so we want to have these thing so we want to have the prefab we stored into our database uh, back to there Uh, let me move that a second though. And uh, so the uh, game object will be dropped uh, or created. And then we set the amount. So we go to get component pick up item dot amount um, and set the uh, it to the inventory item amount. So that's something we changed. So we have to go into our pick up item again, pick up item, and we add the amount here and send the amount to our, our function in the inventory manager. That means we have to go into the inventory manager also. And on pick up item, we have to get the int underscore amount and in our new item dot amount we set that to the amount so we going away from storing the amount into the database we just store that into the object which is laying on the ground that doesn't mean we uh, don't use the uh, amount in the database uh, we use that later on for uh, for example crafting or something like that so we know which amount these item will be up here. So back to the item to ground. Uh, so we have the amount here or store the new amount here. And then we go to transform position game object dot find drop point. So drop point is another thing we don't have in the moment. So the drop point, let me bring up unity include that so the drop point if you think about where we want to have these um, item dropped we could go and uh, find the x and y coordination from the mouse and calculate that and drop that down there but i want to just have it on uh, the player or next to the player uh, a little bit to the right which is uh, here and a little bit to the front which is here and uh, I want to drop it uh, in 1.5 units, so it just falls down a little bit. So we looking for the drop point, which is, uh, again, it's just uh, a spare you, you drop here and uh, uh, delete the rest of that. And uh, of course, going for the right name here or whatever name you want. <clears throat> and then is the item on the ground. It has the right amount. It has the right uh, prefab. And then we going uh, to the inventory manager dot delete item and say we have an item and it's the inventory item. We start here and um, we delete that. And then we're going to clean up our local database and say the, lot, uh, the amount is zero, the item ID is zero, and the ID is also zero. And then we're going to destroy the object uh, item and move. 
so it's not longer on our mouse or uh, it's not longer um, going back to the item where uh, to the slot where it came from it's not too hard we just had to manipulate a few old um, C sharp scripts but uh, watch it uh, carefully and uh, just make the changes and you will find that your items will be dropped on the ground uh, just nicely as I showed. Thank you again for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you like it even more, just uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in the source code, just go to my Patreon page and pledge there. And from the beginning of five dollar a month you get uh, access to all my source code and of course uh, um, you get access to the uh, demo client so where you can watch how things uh, should look in this tutorial thank you very much bye bye